American Cheering Bulldog Nation. Welcome to Eric Dieter's Local News. Nathaniel Williams. You ready for this? Can't make it up. Nathaniel Williams nailed for bringing in trafficking fentanyl and money laundering. Federal Court, Cincinnati. Trafficking in fentanyl. They ought to give the death penalty. Laura Minyard, 26. You can't make this up. She defecated on the Good Sam, Good Samaritan Hospital Chapel altar. Either A, she is mentally nuts, or B, she's an evil freaking person. I've been in the Good Sam uh, altar, altar chapel. What kind of a person defecates, which means takes a crap, on an altar in a chapel? I tell you who, Laura Minyard. Unbelievable. Kenyon Ross charged in the death of Eugene Parrish. This was the murder up in Roseland. Mac Lewis got 100 years for murdering his wife in front of his stepdaughter. He deserves it. The jury now has the Amy Rodriguez case. This is where she abused her own child. And the jury is deliberating as we speak. In local news, DeMar Hamlin returns Sunday. He's going to be back in Cincinnati. I'm sure there'll be lots of fanfare, special stuff going on. Probably a weird day for him. But uh, he returns to the scene of his survival. Really sad story here. Cheryl Kidwell has been identified as the individual that was killed in the 275 accident. And I want to talk about this a little bit. Her truck got pushed off the bridge and went to the ground and, and she died. I'm like all of you. I said, I wonder who this person is. I went on Facebook and I found her Facebook page. Uh, this young woman married to another woman, Brooklyn, I think. And uh, she works at, I think she works at Mazak. But she, she, she obviously coming home from work. She's from Brooksville, Kentucky. And they have a, uh, a son. And you talk about someone who had an incredible view of life. I mean, she would post things about, like, not having a lot, but how grateful she was and what a wonderful life she had. And it was just amazing. And, like, the day before she died... She posted a picture out when she was younger. She was in a bad accident and had like 100 stitches and all this. And then right before that, she posted a graphic about you don't know how long you got. I mean, she was a good human being, man. I'm telling you, what a tragedy for this, this family. But uh, Bulldog Nation wishes Cheryl Kidwell and all of her family the best. Um, what a tragedy. All right, in Kentucky news, Billy Daniels has been identified as the individual who's deceased in the Martin County collapse, plant collapse, and Alvin Neese has been identified as the individual who is missing. The Bashir campaign is out campaigning. Apparently, the race is tightening. Uh, Jack Harlow, the rapper, the white rapper from Louisville, was campaigning with Bashir uh, this week. The Cameron campaign, he's traveling all around the state too. He had Sarah Huckabee Sanders and Riley Gaines out campaigning with him. In Ohio news, a horse trailer caught fire on I-75 near Mitchell Avenue. All the horses and everybody is okay. They've now taken a digital profile of the a woman that was found in Avondale that was missing. They don't know who she is, but they're trying to get an identity through digital work. Hamilton County vets. The Hamilton County commissioners are concerned the Hamilton County vets aren't getting what they're entitled to. They're on the case. We'll see what happens. Ohio Recreational Pot, if it passes next Tuesday, the legislature then can adjust it after the fact. We'll see what happens. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.